Hi, welcome back to the Crypto Dave YouTube channel. Now today I'm going to be talking about how you can make money by renting your uh, computing power, your CPU power specifically, to the Gollum network. And for those of you who don't know a lot about Gollum, I'll put all these links below, but um, their website is gollum.network. Um, it's a project that I believe was conceived in 2014 and then in 2016, so just a couple of years ago, they had an ICO. It raised them a lot of money and it's basically a large distributed computing uh, solution and basically what happened was two days ago they launched their mainnet and the beta version of the brass golem software so this is the first version of their software that deals specifically with cgi rendering so it's a distributed computing uh, platform there's a really good article um, here I'll, as i said i'll put these links below um, explaining this kind of launch so eventually what they want to do if we jump back to the main site so it's um distributed computing power they want to go into rendering and then into machine learning and and all these other things and the idea behind it is that if you have a company like uh, pixar for example that do a huge amount of kind of rendering for their movies what you'll be able to do is rather than having to run an enormous kind of suite or data center of machines in-house which will be doing all this kind of work is that you can then just basically send this um, this work up to the Gollum network and then millions of computers hopefully or you know certainly hundreds of thousands of computers around the world will be then basically working together to deal with these kind of rendering kind of projects and then it will be recompiled and kind of sent back to you uh, quicker than you could have done it yourself and, and hopefully cheaper. So this is the idea behind it. The first version uh, deals directly with rendering. So it uses a blender. I'm not big into kind of um, CG. I don't know a huge, huge amount about it. But um, basically, if we scroll down, you'll see that there's a very popular piece of software called Blender. And the initial um, Gollum beta software basically does rendering for this Blender program. So if you're a user, you can send your jobs up to the kind of network. And then as a provider, which is what we're going to be talking about today, you can then opt to run these jobs and earn Gollum uh, for doing it. But uh, anyway, this is the uh, the project. It's well worth having a look at the kind of website if it's something you're interested in. Um, they've got quite an active Reddit here as well if you have kind of questions. But what you want to know is how do you make money by renting out uh, your computer? So the first thing you need to do is go over to the main website and click on the download link. And what I will do now is jump over to my desktop machine where I've got this installed and I'll talk you through the installation and setup and that kind of stuff. OK, so here we are on uh, my desktop computer. So you can see we're in the download um, section here and there are versions for uh, Mac OS, Ubuntu and Windows. Now I'm running Windows on this particular machine so literally all you have to do is click on the download for Windows. I'll run you through the Windows installation here. It will be slightly more complex for Ubuntu, a pretty similar kind of process for Mac OS but there are uh, uh, guides and there is information in this page here. So just click on the download for Windows. Now be aware that it's pretty large uh, download file. I downloaded it and installed it yesterday. As you can see here, it's a, just over 600 megabytes in size. So it will take a few minutes to download. It downloads from um, Amazon AWS, which always seems to be quite a slow download for me. So what will happen is it will download to your machine, then double click the installer and it will jump through quite a few um, different kind of um, hoops that you need to be there to um, validate. So it will also install um, some additional um, uh, distributions, Windows distributions. There's then an Oracle uh, virtual kind of box VM kind of where. So there are additional bits that it will uh, try and install. So you will be have to be there to kind of click OK. But it was quite nice that it was, I think, the first piece of uh, cryptocurrency related software probably for the last six months that I have downloaded that hasn't pump prompted uh, Windows Defender because it's not actually kind of mine or anything like that it works far more like uh, a piece of software called storage or something like that but basically double click this uh, go through all the different steps and then what you will do is that you'll find that you'll have um, two icons on your a desktop if you've chosen to put it in your desktop so there's a main net and also a test net now we will be using the uh, main net in order to uh, run it and earn money so what I'm going to do is just close down this is what the software looks like uh, when it's up and running but I'm just going to close this down and then we can run through open it up together so the first time you open it up it will 
prompt you for various bits of information. Now, the first one you need to be aware of is these forwarded ports. Now, my computer did not work. I couldn't run the software. It wouldn't open up without forwarding these ports. And this is something you'll have to do on your local uh, router or router if you're in the US. Um, depending on your kind of router, there will be different um, instructions for different um, manufacturers of kind of routers. But it's basically what you need to do is you need to find out the IP address of the machine you're running it on. So this is your local IP address. And then you need to make sure that these three different forwarded ports are open and redirecting to that particular uh, IP address of this local machine that you're running it. Now, it does take quite a lot of time to open up. It took quite a lot of time to install. So when I first tried to install it, I hadn't opened the ports up, which I think caused some problems. I then went back and opened the ports up and uh, I managed to get through the kind of registration, but it still wouldn't open up. And basically what had happened in my particular instance was that I needed to enable Intel VT and AMD V, which is a virtualization hardware extensions. And you had to do that via the BIOS. Now, what will happen is if you do have issues, it will come up with what the issues are. And you can go to the um, basically to a help or FAQ section um, through the link when it kind of kind of pops up with the kind of issues and it will talk you through these things. So in my case, I had to enable um, these virtualizations, so CPU virtualizations within the BIOS. And within my case, it was in CPU. I think it was the advanced or secondary CPU option. So uh, be aware, you might have to jump through a few uh, hoops in order to get it up and running. And then as part of the install, you'll be required to enter a password. Now, make sure you keep this password safe somewhere, because if you lose this, you won't be able to kind of back, get back into your particular instance of Gollum that's kind of running. So the first time through, it will ask you to enter a password and then um, re-enter it. Um, when we log in subsequently, as you can see here, you just need to enter your password and then we can click login and the piece of software should open up. So this is what it will look like. It takes a few minutes to start. The first time through, it downloads uh, various bits and pieces from uh, various versions of Docker from the kind of network, and it took quite a while to kind of do it. So um, if it is sat down here saying, you know, downloading um, Docker instances and bits and bobs like that, you know, don't be alarmed. Now, as you can see here, it's um, popping up that it's having trouble connection. I've had this once or twice while I've been kind of running it. Um, as I said, all my ports are kind of open, so it should be running fine. I think these are just kind of teething uh, troubles with the network. It may be a capacity kind of issue, but as you can see here, it's now connected. There's no nodes connected, but over the next few minutes, you will see uh, some nodes start to appear. So I think when we close it down uh, at the beginning of this video, I think there were 10 nodes um, initially there. Now, the other thing you need to do when you first start up is that there's a slider here, basically, that once it starts up, you can use this to adjust how much of your CPU resources and other uh, computer resources you want to use. So this is basically trial and error. It depends how powerful your computer is, depends what other things you're doing on your computer. I set mine to 70 as a kind of test. I will tweak this obviously going forward um, if I continue to kind of uh, use it. But, uh, you know, 50 or 70 or something like that, you know, if you're using it for other bits and bobs, uh, should be a reasonable kind of starting point. Now, as I said, it does take a while for everything to kind of kind of sync up and get going. As you can see, we are sat here with no nodes connected. So what I'm going to do is pause the video uh, very briefly, and then I will wait for some nodes to kind of pop up. Um, I'll have a look and see how long that's going to take, and then I will be back to finish off the video. So I'll be back in a minute. All right, so it's only about 30 seconds uh, later, so it picked up its first uh, node here. So we're successfully connected to the network. As I said, if you do get when you started up those kind of network problems, as long as you've opened up your ports, you'll probably get um, what happened to kind of me. So it says there's network kind of problems, but there aren't actually. And as you can see, we've got our second node now. So once these nodes start uh, showing up, you uh, can be uh, basically assure that you're successfully connected to the network make sure you set this to something kind of reasonable this kind of slider and then you know wait so i uh, literally set this up um yesterday and then i had to do some more config this morning to get it running properly um i've only had it running for about half an hour so i haven't received any jobs or anything like that yet but um i just really wanted to run you through a couple of people had asked me about it um i think they've probably seen bits on reddit and in the news recently so i just wanted to run through how to kind of install. So it's slightly more complex than some bits of software. As I said, 
you might well need to do port forwarding if you don't have a public IP and you may well need to set up your CPU virtualization and do some other bits and bobs. The other thing to be aware of, you know, as I said initially, when you're doing the initial install, it will prompt you to um, load additional kind of software from Oracle and bits and pieces. Now, um, as far as I, I'm aware, there are no issues with those kind of bits and bobs, but obviously, you know, buyer beware. So it's um, you to make sure that you you know you haven't downloaded anything kind of dodgy but the um the main one you know it didn't prompt any uh, virus issues or anything like that so you know it should be safe and there are a lot of people now on the network running it i believe some people who set up on the first day which was i think on the 10th of april so two days ago now have started receiving jobs and being paid for those jobs so as we see we're up to kind of three nodes now but um i what i will do is I'll put all the useful links in the comments um, below or in the description below and then what I will do is update that once I've received my first kind of job or two in a few days and it's run through to explain how that's worked but uh, anyway I hope that was uh, useful it's very basic um, installation video today basically just sort of like making you aware of the system so if you were if you're into mining or anything like that but you have some cpu um, cycles that you're not utilizing as I said the software at the moment is purely using cpu uh, usage now as the late next versions of the software it will then become a uh, GPU enabled which is obviously much more efficient for uh, rendering and stuff like that but as I said this is the first beta version of the software so don't expect too much at the moment but there the community seems pretty good they are you know answering some of the questions so when I had the connection issues and one of the other issues I managed to go onto the kind of FAQs and there were already people that experienced the same thing and were sharing you know advice as to how to fix it so um, you know great that they've finally got their mainnet launched and great that they've finally got the software out there it's been you know a long couple of years for people I think who have invested in Gollum but um, it's nice to see that they're you know making progress with what they hope to do and you know I can see this being a long steady sort of burner really in terms of their full functionality it's going to obviously take quite a while to get to the their endpoint where they're going to be doing um, you know smart learning machine learning and all these kind of things but purely as a kind of a distributed rendering engine you know hopefully it will work pretty much uh, flawlessly from now on obviously the other thing to bear in mind is I don't know what kind of rewards you'll be getting I don't know whether it's kind of economically viable or anything like that so it's up to you to you know have a look at that and see whether it's uh, it's worth your while but I will do updates maybe in a few weeks once I've started getting some jobs in and I've completed those to talk about the kind of potential rewards and stuff like that but anyway that's it for today uh, thanks very much for watching uh, give me a thumbs up if you would, that would be great. It helps more people uh, see these videos. And I will be back tomorrow with my weekly news roundup. Anyway, have a great day and hopefully I will see you on the next video. Bye bye.